All right, time for Ohana Matters, and we have Britt Young here. She's a licensed marriage and family therapist. And Britt, we want to talk about artificial intelligence because it seems like it's taking over the world. <laughs> right? So what do we tell our kids? Oh, it's so hard. Like so many things that interact with our kids via technology, these AI systems are probably a blessing and a curse, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of educators worried about cheating, yeah. kids writing papers with AI content. On the other hand, these systems could like kick the door wide open to more knowledge, more content, more understanding. So really the jury's still out, but I think this school year is gonna be pretty revealing. Okay, so as a parent then, what, what, should, you, what should you be worried about yeah. with your kids? Like what should you tell them? Well, uh, one Carnegie Mellon expert actually said, whatever you do parents, don't forbid it. It's here to stay, <laughs> just deal with it. Um, and actually he or she might be true, um, might be right. But one thing you can do in your conversations with your kids is take like a three pronged approach. Mm -hmm. um, number one, you know, talk about what it can do. Go play around with it as a family have it write a song, go ahead and like play around with content, write a paper, at least know what you're up against, right? But the second one I think is really important for young children especially. So these AI systems are actually programmed to use the pronouns I and say mm -hmm. they have feelings. So, you know, small children are like, well, it must be a person then. Yeah. They are not people. And one thing to <laughs> express to young children is that they may sound like real people and may say that they're real or that they have real feelings, but it's not true. And then finally, I think ethical concerns are a good topic of conversation for older kids. So what are you ethically okay with in your home? What are you ethically okay with you know, in the classroom? And one very important tidbit you may wanna share with your teenager is that a lot of teachers now have software that can actually detect whether this content was AI generated. So they may not get away with it even if they're tempted to cheat. I mean, as a parent, though, can you tell when they use AI? Because I'm thinking, gosh, I oh. kind of wish I had this when I was a teenager. <laughs> it's going to be like an app for us yeah. parents at some point where you can scan something and find out. But, you know, if my child wants to write a song with a friend, I'm not sure I really care too much about yeah, that. It's really when it crosses over these ethical lines. Yeah, like, like claiming work as your own. Exactly. Yeah. So we can see where it's a slippery slope, possibly. But I imagine there's going to be a lot of new software companies popping up with programs that can detect it. So there's maybe a whole new industry <laughs> behind this. Yeah, it's tough for parents. So where can they go for more information? Because yeah. kids tend to know more than we do about this stuff. I didn't find a lot yet of like support groups and chat places, um, but what I did find was one by MIT. It's called RAISE, like R-A-I-S-E, like raising something, dot MIT dot edu. And it had some good forums, some good support, some good guidelines, and so at least parents have somewhere to go. All right, Britt Young, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Grace. We'll be right back.